Once you've inserted your sample into the SU-9000, there's a number of things that you'll have to do before getting a good image. The first thing is to come to the stage settings here on the right panel. You'll press the settings button and then you'll make sure that you have the right holder type selected. For most experiments here at Georgia Electron Microscopy, you'll either be doing the stem holder or the standard holder. In this case, we're using the stem holder. So I've now selected it and I will press close. The next thing I will do is come over to the electron beam window, open it, and then I will do a flashing as I'm the first user of the den. Then press execute. This will take a couple of seconds to perform. Press close. Now you're able to turn the beam on. I'll be imaging at 30 kV with 10 microamps of current. So we'll press on. This window that pops up is related to the stem holder, which we've already checked through on the right panel. So we'll hit OK. And now we just wait for the beam to turn on. In its current configuration, our screens are the secondary electron detector in the upper left, the bright field in the upper right, and HADIF occupying both the bottom left and the bottom right. So I'll now zoom out because we are over a grid bar very clearly. And then I'll move to an area of interest. In this case, we're imaging some quantum dots. So we can start to see where some of our quantum dots might be located by using the bright field or the HADIF, where in the bright field case they're dark and in the HADIF case they're pretty light. So let's zoom in with the magnification knob. Now I can see an agglomeration of them, and I'm gonna zoom out to 20,000x magnification, and now I'm going to undergo an alignment of the beam. So do that, I will press mode, and then I will be strictly focusing on the SE window, and making sure in this first case that the beam is centered to the target that's set up. And it is, if it was off, it might look like this, but then we can correct it with the XY knobs. Next, I'll hit mode, which will send me to aperture alignment. In this case, we want the sample to pulse and not move in any one direction. So it's moving up and down a little bit. So I'm going to fix that with the Y. Now it looks good. It's just pulsing in and out. Next, we will go to Stigmate Align X-Axis. And in this case, we'd also like it not to shake. I'm making it shake a little bit worse so you all can see what that would be like. So that would be bad. And then we just correct it so that it's just taking place very minimally. I'm pressing the mode button one more time to do the same thing in the Y direction with the same correction. So again, we're just looking for pulsing. 
then we click it one last time in order to end the alignment in the system. Now we'll zoom in some more. And focus. And now we can see quantum dots everywhere. So at this point, we'd like to take an image. So to do that, we'll go up to the capture window, open it, go to output, press select, go to our window tab, start a new folder, name the file, we're just going to name it one, and then make sure that you've turned your auto increment in to one when you're starting a new uh, saving series, because each time we press uh, capture in the future, it'll just add plus one to whatever increment we put in, so it's important to start at uh, the number one close. Now we can save them by pressing the slow 1280 button. And that will simultaneously save our SE image, our bright field, and our HADIF. It's doing so by slowing the beam's raster down over the sample, as well as integrating the image for us to give a very crisp image. Now you can see the kind of images that are now saved. It should be noted that the entire scale bar region is going to be 400 nanometers in this case, with the area between each of the hash marks being 40 nanometers, and each hash mark in particular being 4 nanometers. So we can use that to kind of uh, qualitatively gauge the size of our particles while we're live imaging, and then when we get back to do the real measurements, uh, get our quantitative basis and histogram measurement for all of our small particles. Then we'll press run because we'll want to make some more images. And that brings our images back to being live. Go over to this area on the lacy that's over the vacuum. We'll zoom in. The magnification button. Then focus. I'm focusing with the coarse focus. And then we can press slow again to save what we're viewing. And that's how you will be making images with the SU-9000.